Hey guys, it's Dark Recycle and FPV, and again, it is Frame It Friday, and I'm here in the CNC room again to get another cut ready. So here's what we're gonna be doing. Right now, I just prepped the board up. I'm gonna show you what that looks like here in a minute, and what I'm gonna do is I'm, I'm gonna end up spraying the board with glue. Got my gloves on, ready to make sure I don't get all that stuff on my hands. So I'm gonna spray the board with glue, get a two millimeter carbon fiber sheet, they're ready to press it down. I'm gonna weight it down for about 30 minutes so that it really sticks to that piece of wood. And then we're gonna come back and we're gonna cut. So we got a couple frames to cut under on, on the two millimeter piece. What we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be cutting side, very, very, very small side plates for the, um, for the uh, uh, 95 series frames that we just created, the tank. And then we also have the top plates to cut. So that's gonna be something that we're gonna do here. We're gonna be using a very small bit. So it has to be very precise for these cuts. So uh, I'll give you guys, a, I'll show you what's gonna happen here. But first thing, I'm gonna switch the screens here and I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do. So here's the wood right here. Um, and this is our vacuum hose. Let me just get that out of the way. So main thing right now is I've just cut this down. So you can see in here uh, the, some of the old cuts. So earlier today we did the, uh, earlier today we did the uh, rapture cut and this board was filled with pieces that I had cut on a three millimeter piece. And we, I just pulled them off so they're gonna get ready to get cleaned and prepped and we're gonna do some live builds on that. And so then what I do is I come in and I shave about a millimeter off or half a millimeter off because wood's not only expensive, it's kind of hard to get at some points like this. And so I can at least get two or three runs out of here. That was run number one. This will be run number two on this. And if it gets too close, this may be the last run I do on this before I throw this piece of wood out. But what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna go over it with this uh, with this here, trying to get just some of the loose pieces out uh, and vacuum them real quickly. I've already done this once. Whoops, I've already done this once, um, but uh, I want to get some of these pieces out that may be weak, maybe a little bit weak and too easy to pop out during the cut. Because once I put this glue down, I want everything to stay. So, all right, that's going to be it. I'm going to go ahead and vacuum that up here. Let me show you about the hose the attachment and then um, let me here I'll bring this in for you so and then the uh, and then this bit here let me, let me just bring this up here and then this vacuum attachment here uh, so uh, want to know what I what I did or where I got it. so this I designed this one here all right it just kind of slides right off it's held with two bungee cords I designed this one here um, it's a 3d printed if anybody needs it let me know it's what I use on all my all my pieces um, you know, this is kind of one of those knowledge shared things, so if I can help you with it, let me know. I'll send you the files and do your own. But the design is it's supposed to be able to pop on and pop off very quickly. And I put these standoffs here so you can clip your bungee cord to it just like that, wrap it around. And let me tell you something, it stays perfect. And then there's another bungee cord right here. And this one will go around and hold the hose with this attachment, hold it right in here. And you get excellent, you have no dust. I mean, it really gets picked up. So that's the idea here. I'm sorry, I didn't think I just kicked the camera, but in either case, so we've labeled this. Let me get this arm out of the way. Um, all right, so we've labeled this piece of wood. You can see it here. I don't know if you can read that, but it's basically 022522, two millimeters, and that's the other direction. So on all my tables, I have registered everything in such a way where each piece of wood during the cut is going to be taken off, moved to another machine, it'll begin, it'll pick up right where it left off. I don't have to worry about that. So let me go grab a, uh, I'm going to go grab a two millimeter piece of uh, carbon fiber here real quick. Let me grab that. All right. So to prep this carbon fiber, there's a couple things we're going to have to do. And I'll be bringing this on into the camera so you can see it. First thing is that, uh, really, uh, I don't like the way that was done right there. This thing, like, oh, yeah. there we go. There we go. So, um, I don't like the way that is, but this is this doesn't make a difference to you guys. This is really just for us. Um, and because there is actually this is the bottom area. So this excess here doesn't come off. So all I'm gonna do is just take the razor blade very quickly. Turn that off. Okay. And we'll do the other side. out okay so the next thing is going to be to actually uh, spray get the glue on here and we want to make sure that we don't get this on our equipment 
Uh, you can, you got to be careful about things like this where there's going to be some rough edges. Um, all right, so let me set this up over here. Let me get a, a board that I use. Where did my board go? Ah, it's over here. Okay, so when I spray this, usually I will not spray on the table. I'll take it off. But because it's already bolted down and it's been cut here, I'm just going to spray this. Normally I would take this off and put it on the concrete or on my, I have a spray table that I use. But I'm going to go ahead and do this so, you know, we're going to do this so we don't get any over spray on anything. So let me put that camera just like that, maybe. Okay. Hopefully that'll be better. Okay. Now the next thing we're going to do, we're going to take the sheet here. There we go. So sheets ready. Everything's been covered. Uh, spray is on there. Spray is all the way across, as you can see. So we have no over spray. So now at this point, we're going to lay it out. And the reason I cut these sheets down, this wood, is because now it makes a perfect area where I can just slide this in, lay it down perfectly against all edges. All right, just like that. Make sure that it's on there good. And then it'll press in perfectly into the screw. Okay, now I'm going to leave this top layer, this top uh, blue film, I'm going to leave this on here for the time being because I'm going to put a piece on here so that we can press this down with some granite. Just give me one second, I'll show you that, and then I'm going to go use the alcohol wipes to clean the nozzle on here or else next time I spray this it's going to go barely come out but it's going to shoot one direction or another. So we're going to clean that up. And that, if you're wondering, that is... 3M Super 77, excellent. If you use it properly, it works really well. Uh, I have had pieces come flying off the table as well. So it doesn't, you've got to really take your time and make sure you prep your wood properly. That is the key to making this work well, is the prep work. And I've learned very quickly that that's most important. As you can see, there's a bunch of glue here. I'll just wipe whatever I can off and that's it. This board will be used again shortly. Okay, so now it's time to get another piece and get ready to uh, Secure that down. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a half a piece of granite and another piece of wood. Okay. And so long as the carbon fiber is just above the cut down area, so it's very close. So this should be just fine. So I'm going to place this on top, just like that. Okay. I think that should be okay. And now I'm gonna go get that granite piece, slide that on there. This way we don't scratch the carbon fiber. And we're gonna put about, oh, it's about 70 pounds, maybe 60, 70 pounds right here. I'm gonna get that on there, just like this. All right, so we're gonna leave that for about 30 minutes. Let this all cure very well. And then we'll be right back here. So in just a few, I'm gonna come out here and we're gonna lay this out and cut some pieces off of this one. And then I've also got another piece getting ready to cut for the three millimeter bodies of the new tank, which I'm gonna cut about four of those right now. So I'll send you guys over there in just a minute. All right, guys, now that we're back, uh, I've got to let the, um, uh, let the weight sit on the, uh, on the carbon fiber sheet. We got the two millimeter sheet we're getting ready to cut, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and pull that off real quick. So let me get the camera back over there. So we're ready to pull this off and then we're gonna run the, uh, we're gonna run the CNC. I'm gonna change the bit out real quick and we're going to uh, get ready to do this. So let me get this out of here. Let's get this piece 
slid out. Whoops, sorry. Keep kicking. I know I keep kicking that camera. Holy moly, I'm trying to get it out of my way. All right. One of the things I'm going to do here is I'm going to actually peel this off, and it'll tell me it's a good way to test it. If the carbon fiber raises while I do it, it means that the glue did not stick out, and this is actually coming out. And that sheet is not moving at all, so that's perfect. So we can throw that away, and now it's going to be time to change the bit out. So I'm going to go ahead and bring the machine forward. I'm going to get a two millimeter bit that I want to use. And that's one of the reasons I like this vacuum set up the way it is. I can get to the bit very quickly. Okay, so we go ahead. Okay, that's going to be our three millimeter bit that we use to clear the wood. I've got a pretty new two millimeter. I was going to use one mil, but I don't think I'm going to need it. Um, I need this though. So I'm going to go ahead and get ready to put this in here. And then I'm going to zero out the z-axis real quickly so I know where we're starting from. Okay. And usually to zero out, I'm going to go to the area that we're going to be cutting the most. So I'm just going to go, I'm going to cut in the top right, or top left, I mean. So let me just move the machine, kind of get it to where I want it over here. All right, that's good. Now, that's what I use these sticky notes for. So I'm just going to put this down here. I'm going to drop this down. And then from there, I'm going to go down in increments of one millimeter. And then I'm going to go down in increments of a quarter of a mil. There it is. I'm going to set that. I'm going to go down to Set zero, zero to the Z, done. I'm gonna raise it back up now. Go ahead and put our vacuum back up. Just like that. There you go. And trust me guys, I get it. You know, if, you, if you're loaded, you got a ton of money. You want to spend it on getting the fanciest stuff, the vacuum stuff, the way, you know, blah, blah, go right ahead. But I work to be efficient here. Okay, so I'm going to load the file now. So let me go ahead and it's going to, this should not be a long cut. It's a test cut, really. So I'm going to click uh, run. And I'm going to load the new file that I just saved. Um, and let me go to here and we go up one. I can find the file there it is and this should be on the okay I don't have it saved as a g-code give me one second here well I know I have it saved actually so let me see uh, let me see so file export let's save the g-code and it's going to be should go down to two. okay and it should be uh, two mil. I don't know what happened there. So let's save that. Okay. So the file now should pop up on my screen. And there it is. So I'm going to load that. Okay, it's going to get noisy now, so you may want to turn down the volume here. And I'm going to move this camera so you can see a little bit better. Okay, so let me go ahead and put that just like that. And we'll zoom out a little bit. Well, I thought we would. There we go. So uh, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be focusing on the front area over there. So if I, can, if I can get this to zoom in on that area, that might be kind of neat. At least kind of, give, let me do it from an angle. Oh, I'm sorry. Let me see if I can do this from an angle here. There we go. Let's just try it like that and see what happens, okay? We're only printing, we're only cutting three pieces right now because this is a test cut. So here it goes. <laughs>
came out pretty good actually. I was a little worried because the smaller pieces that you have, like these right here, which are the camera mounts, first thing is I want to see if it fits. Man, that fits perfect. That really fits perfect. So that was why I considered it a test cut, is because um, I wasn't sure if that knew. A couple things that I did to change on this tank frame. I added this back piece. I don't know if you can see that. Let me see. Uh, yeah, let me see. I added this back piece right here. So this was initially open all the way out. And then when I put that uh, antenna to the Vista, um, I'd have to put a zip tie to hold it from falling down. So I decided to just give it a one millimeter uh, gap here. And then what I did on this side was I modified the um, I modified the uh, side pieces here where this where this will go in. So this one will snap right in here, okay. And so what I did is I modified to give you three rows of where you three different spaces, three different. Uh, uh, oh my gosh, what I'm trying to say here. Three different positions, uh, back, middle, and forward, and then three different heights, top, middle, and, and lower. So that's that. So now what I want to do is let me pull this other piece. Depending on, you know, if you if you get the carbon fiber to stick properly uh, onto the wood, uh, and you you know you really take your time with it, then these pieces are okay. When you rush it, or if the wood's not been, if the wood hasn't been prepped for it, these things will come flying off like when the vacuum passes over it. Um, so I was really worried to make sure I was hoping that we did it right. So this is perfect actually. So now that that's done, uh, hold on one second. So let's get back here. So now that these are done, so here are, here is the beginning of our pieces. Um, I have to obviously sand these and clean them up. But uh, now that this part is done and these are done, hold on, who's calling me? <laughs> that's my dad calling me, so give me one second. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hey, Dad, I'm on a live video right now. <laughs> Can I call you right back? Yeah. Okay, bye. Okay, that's nice. <laughs> it just hangs up. Uh, so anyways, now that these are done, uh, they need to be cleaned. And these are the, as you can see right there, that's what I'm talking about, is the top, middle, and lower sections, three positions. And they fit perfect into here. Okay, so that's that fits very nicely right into there. Let me turn that around so maybe you can see that. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go cut the bottom plate, all right, which we've made some adjustments to as well, and get ready. And once this one goes, we do both of them, uh, and that way I can get them ready for the customers, although I have a build to do on one of them, okay? So we'll be right back. All right, guys, now that we're ready to cut the base plate, so we've cut, remember, we've cut the two side plates, two millimeters, and then we've cut the top plate, two millimeters. Now we're getting ready to cut the bottom plate of the new tank 95 HD frame, uh, and that is a three millimeters. So we're going to the three millimeter table. We've got another table set up just for that. So let me go ahead and switch you over to there real quickly, and there's the table right there. I'm gonna go ahead, I was just getting it ready. Uh, wanted to get a couple things ready on it real quickly, so let me go back. Oh. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and bring the, um, I'm gonna go ahead and bring the cutter here to the center of the table, and we're gonna get it ready. Again, all the machines are fit the same way with the vacuums set up, so it, got, it works out pretty cool this way. Um, and this one, we used this last, uh, last week I used this uh, to do the same frame, so I'm just gonna, everything's already set wise. It, the machine remembers where the zero Z axis was, it should at least, I'm, hope, I'm hoping it has. Uh, so we're gonna get ready to go here. So I'm gonna go ahead and load the file, I'm gonna click done. And we're going to run and we're going to, let's see, let's load this new file here real quickly. Where is it? It is going to be the three mil. So that should be right here. And that was done today. Okay. So I'm going to click open and it's going to get noisy. Don't forget. So I'm going to turn the machine on, turn the vacuum on. I just realized I need to make an adjustment setting, so hang tight one second. I'll be right back, but I'm gonna leave the machine on here, okay? So give me one second, we'll be right back.
Alright, here we go. We're ready to do it again. I had, I had, I had not set it for a three millimeter plate. I still was thinking I was on the two. So we're gonna get ready to start that cut again. So get ready. Here we go.
is now we've got, this is the new, I, I actually changed part of the design a little bit, especially around the, um, where the motors mount, on the motor mount, I rounded it out. I kind of like that look better and I like the additional little bit of carbon fiber. Given that this frame is super light anyway, I'm not really worried about what small amount of weight that may add. Um, but uh, let me just see, the other test was here. Wanted to make sure that this was gonna fit. Oh my gosh, that fits perfect. So this is gonna be great. Um, it looks like we got a perfect fit for the camera here, for the camera piece all the way around. Okay, so what we're gonna do now here, let me, let me go over here and get this part done. Okay, let me get this thing out. All right, all right guys, sorry, I'll back up a little bit. So what we're gonna do now is, now we've done this part, so we've got the frame done. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna clean it, sand it, and assemble it real quickly. I'm gonna show you exactly how this is gonna come out. We're gonna weigh it. We're gonna see if this is really all that it's cracked up to be. The first one I made was awesome, flew like a champ. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna, we've revised it a little bit, made the top plate a little, made some changes to it, uh, added some thickness to the camera plates. This thing is ready to go, man. So I'll see you guys in just a minute. We're gonna go set up to uh, sand this, clean it, and, uh, and then build it. All right guys, so now we're back and we're, we're back at the sanding table here. I'll put that on the screen here. I'm just gonna get some gloves on real quick. Uh, you could see right here, I'll push this back a little bit. That's our oil bin right in here. And the two pieces, I'm not gonna do the camera pieces in there because they're just too small and I can't run them on this kind of a machine. They'll, they can get just sucked in there and then just go flying across the room somewhere. So uh, what I'm gonna do real quick is I'm gonna get these gloves on uh, and then we're gonna get started on sanding the two pieces, the bottom plate and the top plate, which it's going to take all of a second to do. It's not going to be that long to do, but it is, it is part of the process for when I do my frames. So here we're going to, here's what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and split the screen up. Uh, let's see. Let's do it like this. And there we go. Okay. So uh, actually, I don't like that. Let me see if we can just do this instead. There we go. Let's just, no, actually, we don't even need to see me, do we? No, we're going to do it just like that. There we go. Let me see what's going on over here. All right. So let's go ahead and grab these two pieces real quickly. And let me get a paper towel here. So as you recall... Uh, when we pull these out, they're going to have some oil on them. You can see that right there. Uh, let me make sure you guys can see that. You can see those pieces right there. They're going to be kind of wet. They're going to be sitting up here. This is where we're going to oil this um, a little bit. So uh, let me tell you what. Let me adjust that camera just a tad so it gets a little bit more of the machine. And what's going on there? Let's try it like that, uh, I guess. Let's see if that works, okay? Hopefully that'll give a better angle. Uh, as to what's going on on the table. Yeah, that'll be good. All right, so we're gonna sand this. Uh, I do need to get some oil on here first. So, and then we've got our soap and water right here when we're done. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn this on. And I'll apply some oil to the sandpaper. Okay, and then I'm just gonna go ahead and get the base here. So this will help to make sure we don't scratch the carbon fiber. Carbon fiber is already pretty wet as it is, so a lot of oil already on it. Now we're going to close the oil in. Alright, let's begin. Now there's not many areas where I can sand, so I have to be very careful. I don't want to push it too hard here and then uh, cause some ripples in the carbon fiber. So I'm just going to kind of squeeze it here in between a little bit of the gaps maybe, but that's it. Uh, the rest of it I'll do by hand. So I'll, and I'll You'll see you do that here real quickly. Uh, but I can still do the edges and that's important. Let me get that here, here, here. All right, that's gonna be that piece right there. And then now, let me go ahead and just kind of quickly do the edges here. And again, you gotta be very careful when you're doing the edges because if it doesn't fit uh, in there properly, you could you risk causing these waves, uh, these waves on there. All right, so. So we this side, so we this side. All right. It's good, it's good. We're gonna, I'm not gonna put that in the soap and, soap and water yet because uh, I need to, I'm gonna hand sand it real quickly. Now I'm gonna do this plate. Actually, let me do it like this. I'm breaking pieces. It's not the carbon fiber. It's the um, it's the sandpaper. So I've got to be very careful. Sounds like it's probably about it's about to tear. I think the sandpaper is about to tear. So I'm going to leave that as it is, and I'm going to go ahead and just get the hand sandpaper. So the noise that you're hearing, this sandpaper, it may, uh, here, you can see it right here. I don't know if, actually, I don't think you can. Let me, let me, uh, 
Let's see if I can tilt this machine back just a little bit. If I tilt that back, you can see right here. See right there, all this, that's what we saw. This is about to tear, this piece is about to tear. The carbon fiber really wears out uh, the sandpaper very quickly. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna sand this by hand, uh, get a little bit of it done, especially on these small pieces. I just wanna make sure it's safe and that we have no splinters, so there's that. And then here's the other piece here. I'm just gonna go back over this. This one was fine as well, but I just wanna go back over it one or two times, make sure that we uh, get it good. Okay, and with that done, drop those in the water. I'm gonna take the other two. Uh, let me, actually, let me go ahead and take these. Ah. Now, that sandpaper is gonna have to come off. Uh, this sandpaper is done, so we will clean up this bench here later. So let me see if I can get these gloves off real quickly. Okay. All right. Okay, so it's a very quick sanding, right? Because the pieces are real small. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna head over to the sink, wash them up real quick. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. Um, Film that only because we did that earlier and these pieces are so small it's going to take two seconds so changing with that but then what i'm going to do is come back to the bench here and we're going to build this real quick put the um put the uh whatchamacallit Ugh. the uh new tpu mounts on uh the new tpu uh, prop guards on and just give you an idea of what it's going to look like okay so we'll see you let's see all right guys we're back now and uh we've got everything set up on the table i've cleaned the parts out it was we, 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 you know, we sanded them and then just washed them very quick. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and split screen this up here, here we go. So here's all our parts right here. And to give you an idea, this is the original one that I created. Uh, everything, as you can see, it fits awesome on here. Uh, but I'm not gonna transfer this over. We're gonna wait for a build, so I'm doing this for a new build. But what I wanna do is I wanna show you the frame itself, then we're gonna weigh it when it's done, okay? So um, here's what we're gonna do. Uh, frame looks good, uh, the holes are cut perfect. These are drilled perfect, meaning that there is absolutely no wiggle and these screws at all. And if you watch here, I try to push this through and I can't. Um, so I have, to, I have to basically screw it into there, just like that. Uh, and that is, that is something that I take great pride in doing on these is whenever possible, I try to get these holes, I try to limit the amount of wiggle room at all that, that's possible. Uh, and that requires using a proper bit. Now, believe it or not, it's not that the bit is smaller than two millimeters. So, um, that's something to keep in mind there as well. It is, it is a combination of knowing the screw diameter because even though they're M2s, these are mass produced in China and that means that the measurements are not exact, they're not the same. So one company makes an M2, another one makes an M2, they're not all gonna be the same uh, in diameter wise. So you try to find the company that makes the most accurate. That's what we do. Uh, we find the one that does the best. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and put these on. Now, I will show you that the TPU has been cut for, or has been printed for this. This TPU, is, this, this TPU uh, prop guard setup is phenomenal. Um, it is beyond what I thought it was gonna be. I, I, I did, uh oh, where's my last standoff? Uh oh, well, that sucks. I don't know where I put it now. <laughs> you know what, it could've rolled off, it could've fallen off, I'll tell you. I'm gonna go ahead and, no, I can't do that, I can't. I'll be right back, I'm gonna go. Okay, I'm back, here it is. I had left it on my desk. Let's go ahead and put this on. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a weight of the frame without the TPU added here. I'll give you guys an idea, because I, I wanna see this thing fit. I mean, this is a first cut. Uh, I, did, I did redo the even the camera mounts here. So I'm looking to see if these fit well. Oh man, these fit perfect. This really came out well. Um, okay, so let me just put that down. God, those camera mounts are great. They don't move at all. Okay. So there you go. This is the new Tank 95. I mean, it is strong. This is super strong. And so let's go ahead and we're gonna weigh it real quickly. And I think I'll turn this around so you guys get the, the reading facing you. So let me go ahead and turn that on. Let's make sure we get it to zero. I'm gonna watch the screen here. Okay, we're at zero, so here it goes. Uh, 19.85 grams, perfect. Okay, so now let's take that and put that aside and let's go ahead now and fit the, uh, 
the prop guards on. Now one thing about these prop guards, it's really cool, but I, I want to make sure you, you understand it is that the prop guards actually, I designed these, they don't budge. It's gonna look like they move right now because they have, a, they have an area that screws in where the motor goes. But because I don't have motors on here yet, uh, I can't fasten it down. So it's gonna, it's, gonna, it's, it's gonna have some movement to it only because of that. Once the, the motors are on there, um, this thing, and you'll see what I'm talking about. So it's got movement like this, obviously, but once these are bolted uh, under the motor, this thing doesn't move at all. And it, it's, it's lighter, it, this came out lighter than the um, PLA. Uh, and the pet G uh, and uh, so I'm extremely excited about it here so let's go ahead and just it's made to slide on right here just like this and then it sits on top of the frame and th it goes the screw into that and then the motor sits on top of that so let me go ahead and put these on okay so it would sit like that right there and then I'll put the other side on oh wait there's a specific yeah. Uh, I think I actually printed the same. I need the other side. Huh, be back again. Okay, I'm back again. So uh, first I brought you, wanted to show you what the PETG version looked like. These are actually pretty cool, but they are heavier. Um, and so I believe... This one, yeah, and I had just, I hadn't even prepped this yet. I accidentally grabbed the wrong one, and that's that one right there. Let me go ahead and clean this up just a little bit. Uh, I, I, I had both of them on my desk, and I guess I didn't notice which one was which. So I'm just going to get this kind of cleaned up. I mean, it's not a big deal to demonstrate it, but obviously it would be cleaned up normally. Uh, but anyways, okay, so let's get this other side on. Perfect, that'll fit like that, okay. And then we'll put our camera mounts in, just like this. And there you have it. I mean, I, I really love this frame. Uh, I, I don't really get to fly, and I enjoy I flew the hell out of this thing a couple of days ago in the shop. So, you know, took it through the doors, went outside, had a good time through the gates. All right, so there it is right there. This is the, this is the Tank 95 with the prop guards, and I mean, it'll stand, it'll, it'll be perfect. I mean, it literally, it'll keep its balance, it'll hold, and then once these are, once these are bolted in on the motors, once the uh, flag is here, it doesn't move at all. Let's go ahead and see what it weighs real quickly, okay? Let me go ahead and I'm just gonna zero this out. Let me see, go this way. Okay, so let's, let's zero that out. All right, so with the prop guards, our frame is now weighing a total of 40, uh, 41.9. Uh, All right, and so this is the exact, this is basically the exact frame. I'm gonna go ahead and put this on here and then I'm gonna take the top plate off and you'll get an idea. Um, I wanna say this was like 79 grams uh, without the prop guards. Um, so I'm just going to throw the screws on here and throw the top plate on here and that will give us pretty close to what it is when it's built uh, because the only thing that's missing is that and then I'll actually the camera pieces too. So let me, let me put the screws on here, okay, let me put that and let me put the camera pieces. Where are we at? 75.6. So we'll say seven uh, and we still have, let me see something here. When I take that screw off, 75.6. Okay, so each screw is gonna add point, let's see that's four six, and then six, oh, let's just say 0 0.2 uh, grams, so two, four, six, eight, so 0.8, it's gonna be like 76, 76.5 uh, grams for this quad because I also have the bottom screws that aren't in there yet, but that's about it. So the quad HD version of this quad without the prop guards is going to be about 77 grams, okay? And let me just tell you, it's awesome. I don't know if they're making them any lighter than that in carbon fiber, I would, I would seriously doubt it. Uh, this is a very strong frame. Now I'm gonna give you a full weight uh, with these on as well. So that's gonna be uh, 86 and then uh, you have 
about 97. So I believe we are we still are going to be under 100 grams, which is which is awesome, guys. That is that is the best thing about this. I I was I was my goal was to make this a sub 100 gram HD quad uh, drone, and I have, and it's 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 a beast, and it flies. Oh, you know what? Hold on, I'm going to have to do some modification here because, damn it. I, I forgot to put this I forgot to put the standoff so now I'm gonna be pissed because let me just get the standoffs and the screws and we'll slowly watch it just crush my dreams but I know I can shave off the difference this is what I was doing on the computer behind me earlier was I'm, I, all I, I think all I have to do is shave off like three grams and what I may do somebody suggested is um, why not just okay this is bad. why not just uh, uh, go on this TPU and make the center of it hollow or something. And my God, will you just get in there? Everything's falling off. I can't get this, I cannot get this stuff to stay on here. Hold on, stay. Okay, so where am I at? Oh, you guys can't see it even. Let's move this back. Uh, 90, yeah, I'm screwed. And I'm gonna go over 100. Oh man, this really sucks. So, I mean, I'm gonna make, listen, listen, consider it done. I'm going to make this a sub 100. Ah, even if I have to do some crazy stuff. So I'm at 99.85 and I've got one standoff. Damn it. And one, one standoff and one screw left. Watch, I'm going to put this screw and it's going to be like, ah. Okay, the damn thing doesn't want to come out. So let's just see. I know. I mean, damn it. Well, tell you what, it's, it's pretty awesome. Uh, I, I, I don't know if there's very many sub 100s with prop guards. But um, I, I like to be somebody who comes up with something pretty neat. Ah, okay, so and then when I put the standoff, wait, it fell off, didn't it? Wait, something fell off, the screw fell off. Where'd the standoff go? One, two, three. Standoff must have rolled away too. No, I don't know where the heck it went. No, one, two, three. Oh no, the standoff's on there. 100, man, I'll tell you what. That's it. What is the final weight? 100.52. I'm gonna tell you that this is gonna be sub 100 because I can make 0.52 come off. I promise I can, I, I will cut a hole right in the center and take 0.52 off. So let's just say this is going to be a sub 100 gram HD quad. Awesome. I mean, look guys, this is awesome. So uh, wait, just wait for it. I mean, you guys wanna be able to fly for a while on a, on a 3S, uh, 500, 550 milliamp, you get some awesome time out of this and this sucker will move. All right, uh, so anyways, that's it. And then actually, let's go ahead and take the prop guards off and show you what the weight is now, uh, like it is. Okay, so with the standoffs, I mean, it's 78.42. Uh, again, so, um, man, maybe if I put these on lighter. Ah, just like that, wait. Yeah, 89, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. And don't forget, there's still probably some extra hairs on here. I can cut, please, please. Why, why? Ah! Okay, well anyways, listen, so that's it. That's the, that's the beast, uh, uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> that's the Tank 95 HD. That's the frame you saw it cut, clean, ready, standing, ready to go. So that's it for our, um, uh, our uh, Friday, fr what is it? F frame It Fridays, that's it. Friday, Frame It Fridays, it's a new thing I came up with. Um, uh, maybe we call it Friday Frames, I don't know, something easier. But anyways, that's it guys. Please, please, please show your support for me by just subscribing to my channel. It always means a lot to me. My kids look and they like to tell me, I'm looking to see if this thing went down, 100.52. Um, you know what, it's just, I'm gonna clean up the TPU, it's gonna happen, I'm so disappointed. Uh, anyways, that's it guys, God bless, be safe. Uh, I'm going to see my wife, she's making dinner, I'm out of here guys. I will see you tomorrow on Saturday. It is Friday, Friday night, peace, God bless. And I'm gonna tell y'all right now, I'm gonna end it like this. Pray for those folks in the Ukraine. Piss on Russia for what they're doing right now. I can have an opinion about it. What I've seen on the news, it looks terrible. These guys, these tanks are going in. I saw that one run over the car. Uh, I mean, I, I saw those the, the the video on the 13 on Snake Island, and they told they told Russia to, to to basically Russia told them to put down your guns. They told Russia they responded with "f off," and Russia missiled the shit out of them and killed all 13 of them. Look, not saying who's right or wrong. I'm, I'm not getting into all the politics of it. I will say this. This world just almost forgot what it means to be a human being. And, and you know, and, and, and God, I don't know what happened, where the balls are of our country or where our president's, but I don't know who's holding his nuts. But I do hope that one day somebody does come back and brings peace, but also 
man, it just shows some guts again. It's it's just crazy. But anyways, I know I'm just praying for those folks out there. Um, I don't know, my heart breaks for them. And, and I, some of y'all have written me and sent me some videos. Bryce, I know you sent me that one, man. And, and it's just like, it's brutal. It's brutal. I just, my heart breaks. Anyways, uh, so prayers to them, guys. I'm actually going to make something for them on the carbon fiber tomorrow. Something, just a little little something uh, for some uh, guys that, are in a, that own a company that are from the Ukraine. They're actually in the Ukraine right now. And they sent an email to everybody telling them they're okay. But um, it just sucks. All right. Anyways, other than that, God bless. Be safe. Most of all, guys, go spend time with your family. You never know how much time you have left. So go make the most of it. You can always fly, cut, build, do whatever later. Family, time, that's important, guys. God bless. Be safe. And we'll see you soon. Peace.